All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install MetaMask on your browser. Uh, this is one of the best ways to use it, especially for getting in launches, pre-sales. Uh, typically it's faster, especially if you have your um, desktop or laptop plugged in. But um, I'm using Brave, so you can use Chrome um, as well as Firefox. I already have wallets on those, so I'm gonna do one on one where I don't have a wallet. So I'm gonna click down here on install MetaMask for Brave. Chrome might say uh, an extension, but here you have uh, extensions. Add to Brave, extension. All right, so we'll have everything pull up. <clears throat> Just currently checking. You can see some information about it. All right, so now we have uh, we have a new tab that open. So right here it's saying it's connecting us. Uh, we're happy to see you. All right, uh, if you wanted to import an existing wallet, but I'm gonna show you guys how to create one from scratch. So you're gonna go ahead, go over here, create a wallet. All right, and then you're gonna click agree. I'm gonna share this information with you guys because I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this wallet right afterwards. So um, just this way I can go all the way in depth and make sure you guys have no questions. You can walk through this step-by-step step with us. All right, so let's create a password. Password, create. All right, so you can watch this short video learn more about your secret recovery phrase and how to keep your wallet safe. So make sure you watch this video when setting this up. Go next. And then this will reveal the secret word. So again, guys, I'm going to get rid of this wallet. I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and share these, but you never want to share these words. If you share these words, all your money's gone, right? Anyone, uh, there's no customer service or anyone that's going to ask you for these numbers unless they're trying to do something of ill intent, right? They're trying to steal your money. Never, ever, ever, ever give these away. You want to put these on a piece of paper, put it in a safe. Um, you don't really want to send it to yourself on an email or save it as a file because if you get hacked, then again, you're going to be able to uh, lose all of your crypto and we don't want that. All right. So now it's showing you your secret recovery phrase. Make sure you write this down, store it. Um, do not leave it anywhere where you can get hacked and, and lose it because that's, that's you know, losing all of your money. All right, and then you need to confirm it, uh, which, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to do what I just told you not to do, but just because I don't I don't really care about this wallet, I'm going to get rid of it. All right. Okay. <clears throat> all right. All right, so Pioneer, Police, Monkey Keen Prevent, Monkey Keen Prevent. Mm -hmm. Saddle praise wheat. So praise wheat. Miss Cannon First Lady. Miss Cannon First Lady. All right. So you're gonna have to put these in, guys. Again, you know, I'm not using this wallet after this, so it's the reason why I'm gonna upload this. Uh, but you never ever want to give these words away, guys. No, you don't want to give this away or your private key. Okay. Congratulations. So it gives you some information on how to store it safely. Save a backup in multiple places. Never share with anyone. Careful of phishing. I uh, will never spontaneously ask you for your secret recovery phrase. Um, if you need to back up your secret uh, recovery phrase again, you can find it here in settings security. If you have any questions, you can contact the support. All right. Um, so I have all this information. All right. Let's see if it's new. So we have successfully set up a MetaMask wallet. Right, so if you're using Ethereum, then you're good to go. You're connected to the mainnet, but if not, you need to set up for Binance Smart Chain, which is one of the main ones that we use. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and look up Binance. Tori. You know it, just uh, hold up. Yes, see, All right. So this is exactly what you guys would do. Click into here. Okay, so we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna follow these steps, All right? So click on Ethereum mainnet here. Go to custom RPC. All right, custom RPC. We're going to enter in these details. Okay. Um, I typically name it just BSC. All right, but the other information you want to make sure is the same. So new RPC URL. Here, just copy that. Um, 
Chain ID is 56, symbol is BNB. 56, BNB. And then Block Explorer, you need to make sure you have the BSC scan. Okay, so you're gonna put BSC scan here, you're gonna hit save. And then now you should see this logo pop up. So now you've sent your, you set up your BNB address, right? So here, this is your wallet. <clears throat> I wanted to put this in. This is how you would receive BNB and how you'd send it, right? <clears throat> if you go into your account right here, you can uh, create another account. You can import another account, connect your hardware wallet, go to support, or if you want to go to settings. So in here, you can change any details that you want. If you want to change any advanced details, advanced gas controls, sometimes this will help when getting into launch. <clears throat> this will allow you to uh, raise your gas, which pays you pay a little bit more of a fee, but it means it goes faster. So when you're getting in in the beginning and there's a lot of other people trying to do that, that kind of you know helps as well. Um, all this other information I really don't mess with. Uh, if you decide to, you can. All right, contacts, security, privacy. So you want to make sure all this is uh, connected. Show incoming transactions, alerts, all right, network. So we've already set up our BSC. All these are custom experimental. I don't do any experimental features, all right? And about information. So pretty straightforward. Um, if you click up here, this is how you get your address. So you can, you know, if you want to send yourself some, or um, you know, no, someone needs your wallet address to send you something, or for whitelisting, you just simply clip up there. It's going to clip to your cop uh, to your. Uh, copy to your clipboard um, and if you ever want to go back to ethereum you simply click like that go back to bsc um, you're going to go to right there bsc so you should see that logo up um, if you don't see your tokens popping up you need to import so you'll put the contract address in here and then it will import all right so let's use mouse pad here okay so now we're going to input the token address. Boom, it already pops up with the symbol, token decimal. We can add custom uh, right there. So boom, there you have it. You can add your assets here. Um, if you will need to send any MPAD, you can send it there. Um, you know, pretty straightforward, guys. So when you uh, when you get all set up and you want to go to a website, all you're simply going to do, let's go to Pancake. Swap, Finance. Okay, so now that we have our, our MetaMask set up, we're gonna go here to connect wallet. All right, what are we using? We're using MetaMask. Simply open here, all right? And you're gonna connect it. Always make sure you read this, see what it's asking. Um, and you always wanna make sure that the website is correct as well. There's some scam websites that if they connect to your wallet, you can lose everything. So you always wanna make sure this is the correct website, pancakeswap.finance, not pan, uh, pancake, wow, you know, with any letters missing or anything. Uh, pancake with a C, you know, any of that stuff. I want to connect. All right, so now you should see your wallet up here. All right, click on that. BNB balance low. So we have no BNB in this wallet because we just set it up. All right, so there you go. That's all, pretty much all you do when you want to trade. You would input a contract. So let's use mousepad again. We can import up here. Boom. So once we add BNB, we could put the amount of BNB we want in here to purchase them off MPEP. Make sure you guys watch how to trade on Pancake for a little bit more in-depth view so you guys uh, know how to set it up and why I prefer PooCoin to PancakeSwap.